Okay, this is a tutorial on how to take your Xcode project and document it to a f PDF. A lot of people have wanted to know how to do this. You need three applications to do it. First application is my size. is Doxygen. Doxygen uh, in this case is for the Mac 1.6.7.61. Uh, You'll also need GhostScript and, 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 and installed in that order. So Doxygen and then GhostScript and followed by a latex app called MacText. And MacText you need to render the PDF. So in that order, again, Doxygen, GhostScript, MacText. Okay, we're going to open up Doxygen right now. When you do, you'll have this Doxy Wizard, and uh, you can put in the name of your project or synopsis. Here will be to create a list, let's say, that's our app, project version number 1.0. Go. If you have a logo, by all means, the directory for where the code resides, in this case we're going to be on the desktop and we're going to select this folder. For our example, where we want the information to go on the desktop as well. And we want to scan recursively as well for the information in that folder. Uh, where our code is. Our mode, we want to document all the entities here as opposed to choosing what's already documented in Xcode. If it's commented then it'll pick those only up and document them, but we're going to document all entities so we can show you what happens. We want to deselect the HTML. I found it to be a very nice uh, flowing portion of the documentation, but it to me is no different than what Xcode contains. I can use Xcode and look through the code myself and find what I need. It's a much better uh, browser, if you will, of the code. What we want is this latex over here. We want the PDF, the hyperlinked PDF. And the diagrams we're going to leave as is. Oh, and one last thing up here. We're running Doxygen from the app folder. So we're just going to run Doxygen right now. And it runs. And you notice on the desktop, we just put our latex folder, which it should be here. Yeah. And there it is. You'll see these TEX extensions. So you open them. The Mac text application, which is our latex application, brings up TextWorks, and you see these almost looks like a build file, and each one has one. You want to go to the REFMANTEX file, open that up, and you then want to typeset or build the PDF to render it. When you do that, you get this PDF here. If you look at it initially, it's sort of blank in some ways. There's, if you blow this up here, there's uh, no page numbers. We're going to go back to the beginning of that and we're going to render the typeset here right so we can permanently, and there we go, our contents is there, our page numbers are there, everything is there, table of contents and so forth. We're going to close these for a moment. And there is our PDF. We're going to right click on this, or select it and then right click. Whoops, and there we go. We're going to open it up, and it, there it is. It's in Adobe. And if you click on the hypertext links, you will move about in the Adobe document. Actually, we're going to rename here. Right, so right click on it. We'll call this My App one. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the oxygen just for a minute to show you a little example of what happens when we make a change to the output here. We're going to go into mode and now we're going to just select documented entities only. Go back to run. Run to oxygen. All right. We'll minimize the oxygen, move that about. You notice we have a table of contents. We've rendered that. That wasn't originally in the latex folder, but as a function of rendering the PDF, we have that. We'll come back to our refmantex file, .tex. Typeset it to render it, and do it again. Okay, we're going to close both of these down. We don't have to go through this. And then you notice we have it again. We've rendered it again. If we open this up in Adobe, it is now 15 pages versus 41. Because only the items that have been pro properly, pardon me, properly uh, properly coded, uh, commented, pardon me, in Xcode will appear. And if they're not commented they don't appear in the document so if you document everything it's regardless of whether it's commented but in this case uh, what it's telling you is comment your code properly so that I would choose in Doxygen the document entities only so whatever is properly properly documented or, co or commented in Xcode it will document those only and that really is it. Well, let's just go take a quick look at that two PDFs. Actually, I'm going to rename this one. Whoops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Call it My App 2. Just to show you that both of them do exist. There we go. Okay, well, one is. <laughs> Alright. Let's. Uh... Given the same case. All right. And you can tell from the size of these files. All right. I'm going to just drag this open. In our finder, that 172 kilobytes versus 70, that's 41 pages versus the 15. And that's really it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to contact me at my email address, it's johnfbyers2010 at gmail.com. And we'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Take care.